my little storm clouds and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here today i'm going over my sims 4 2024 wish list that's almost harder to say than sims 4 for rent but not quite i've seen quite a few simmers do this and i've really enjoyed watching them i have the same opinions as a lot of them and i might have a few things in here that are different from other creators but i think a lot of them are the same not going to lie first thing is spiral staircases i am a builder through and through and i would adore spiral staircases i'm not a game designer but i feel like it shouldn't be too hard to implement into the game when thinking about how games sort of work like i get why some things aren't implemented and how difficult it is to implement into a game that already exists like sometimes it is really difficult to do that and that's why when expansion packs are added and it breaks other stuff in the game is because it's not being quite implemented right because it is difficult to do that i do understand that i feel like spiral staircases because all you would need is a set staircase i'm not even saying having different railings so you wouldn't even be able to change the railings on them if there was some like two or three different designs of spiral staircases that had the railings already attached so it's just an item and then all you need to do is have it remove a certain amount of grid tiles from the top part of the stairs and the animation of the sim walking up the stairs and you already have an animation of a sim walking up normal staircases so i don't think it'd be too difficult to add them going in a spiral i might be totally wrong like i said i'm not a game designer whatsoever but when i'm trying to think about it logically i feel like it should work Please tell me if I'm wrong in the comments if you are a game designer and you think that would be really difficult. I also think that should be a base game thing. Next up, still on the topic of stairs, diagonal stairs. Why do we not have diagonal stairs? We have stairs already. They can go that way or that way. Why can't they just... Why? If I'm building on a diagonal, I then have to have the stairs go in at like normal, like straight. What, you know what I mean? Why can't I have on a diagonal to match or even... I was trying to do a build and I totally forgot that diagonal stairs aren't a thing. I was doing like a little front porch patio area and I wanted stairs either side going up on a diagonal and I was like, went to put the stairs and I was like, oh wait, never mind, can't do that. You'd have to build the build on a diagonal to be able to have them technically going straight, but then the stairs that are inside would also have to be straight and not match the walls. And it's just infuriating. Surely that can be done. I don't see why it can't be done when other things can be done on a diagonal. So please, please, I need diagonal stairs in my life. What did he say, dear? Diagonally. I thought he did. So another thing which I think should be easy to implement because they already have the base there is curved half walls. So we can have curved fences and curved normal walls but you can't curve half walls. It's super annoying because I've wanted to create like a curved wall that matches the same like brick pattern as the house, but I can't do that because I'd have to use a fence and there's not like a matching pattern to what I've done as the building. And I feel like it, this one as well should be easy to implement. You've already got the stuff there because you have done it with normal walls. So you just need to now implement it with the half walls. And another thing since I'm on the topic of half walls is half wall trims. I wish we didn't always have the trim on there. And by that, I mean like it just have a flat top and like no little lip. I don't know why, like the lip works sometimes and it does look good, especially because you can change the trims. You can even add little fences on top of there sometimes depending if you have some of the packs. But just to have a nice flat top, it, the wall paint just goes over the top, would be amazing. Another one which I think would be too difficult to implement at this point in the game would be setting floors to any height. By that what I mean is, you know when you have like a second story and you have your floor, I wish you could drag that floor like down. And the reason I say this is I build like a lot of little like toddler dens and stuff like that where I have to make a full floor using shelves. So if I could drag the floor down it to be a specific level so Sims could still walk on it like a platform, but you can still access under the platform. I think that's what's super annoying. So maybe something that's like platforms, but you can use that bit underneath the platform as long as it's tall enough for your Sim to be able to go under. So straying away from some of the build things that I would like in there, pack refreshes. I can't remember when it was, I can't remember if it was like last year or the year before, we had the spa day refresh and that was great. It, really helped improve spa day. 
it really helped improve spa day and I feel like a lot of packs need a bit of a refresh because they're a lot older. Die Now still has a lot of problems. I don't get why that pack can't have a refresh and I feel like for those that don't own the pack, don't want to get the pack because it has so many issues. If those issues were resolved and it had a bit of a refresh, people might want to buy it and it's just great for those that already own the pack as well. More on the pack side of things, it's more stuff packs. I am a little bit sick of kits. There is some kits that I really really do enjoy but there are so many like already there's another one coming out within the next week or so I think it is depending on when this video goes out. It is the new, is it Medieval Castle Estate? Castle Estate something like that it's all to do with castles and it is a kit which i find odd that it's a kit i feel like that would work better as a game pack to get some gameplay out of it at a minimum but the items in it do look pretty good from what we've seen from the little images they have shown but for me stuff packs are just so, worth so much more of your money so stuff packs go on sale whereas kits i've never seen go on sale i don't know if they will start going on sale i don't think they will with them being such a cheap price but kits are five pounds um, i'm talking in like great british pounds and stuff packs are 8.99 so they're almost double but not quite but they normally go on sale for about six pound fifty ish i can't remember the exact price so that is only a little bit more than a kit and if you look at the amount of build items i'm talking about like build kits in specific you get a lot more build items in a stuff pack. I compared the Country Kitchen one and the Home Chef Hustle one. You get so many more items. But you also get gameplay and you also get cast. Whereas when it comes to a kit, you only get one of those things. I mean, the gameplay one, we've only had one gameplay kit which was the Buster Dust, which I don't even own because I don't really play. So when it comes to kits, if they are going to start releasing more kits, I've noticed the kits I like most are ones that creators have been involved in. So I'm happy to still have kits, just get some creators involved because the creators know what other people want because they normally have a little bit of a community. They have heard what their community wants and they can implement that into the kit. And the last one that I can think of, there's must be way more that I am missing, is SDX drops. SDX drops are great, love them. It's free items, free updates that they add to the game every now and again. I really want to see more of those. They have done a good job. They've collaborated with CC creators. I want to see more of that because I love some of the items that have come from CC creators. They have collaborated with real life artists. I know with some of the tattoos we got in one of the SDX drops are from real life tattoo artists and some of the paintings in game are from real life painters and I want to see more of that I love seeing that coming from real world people and they are including it in the game it's really awesome to see I really really like stuff like that I also like that they include new foods so we're getting a little bit more culture coming in from all over the world as well as just having some cute new items like was it just before Christmas I think they had a onesie set which adults and children can use just getting the free little items I I really want to see more of those because everybody gets included with these because whether you only have base game or you have all of the packs you get them so like i said i've most probably missed some things so let me know down below what you want to see from the sims in 2024 and whether you disagree with some of the things i'm saying also whether if you're a game designer if you think some of the things i've said are difficult to do or not because i'd really like to know if this would be easy because i've seen cc creators create like spiral staircases so i'm like should be possible and even though it is like two weeks into the new year i just want to say happy new year to everybody but that is it for this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye